cost quite a bit more money, and I actually have $5 I can give you right now. <laughs> wow, what a deal. Nothing like driving 5,000 miles across the whole Atlantic Ocean and back just for that Abraham Lincoln who's never even blinking. I swear, I get it. It was like the hot trend back in the day. You know, everyone was doing it. Everyone wanted to look like they were Michael Phelps backstroking into a pool of pure cyanide. Were people really that stressed out and serious back then? I guess what they say is really true. If the picture's in black and white, those people are probably about to fight. Like, they always look so aggressive in every picture. I mean, half the historical photos are people that committed huh? mass genocide anyways, so I really can't blame them. Alrighty, welcome back, boys. Another I'm about to nut, and this is Puff. <laughs> Okay, so we all know what Uber is, right? You get the app, you come tell you a car to pick you up, and what usually looks like a crackhead that deserves to be in a Detroit alleyway rather than having his driver's license, pulls up an RDR8 and takes you where you need to go. Sounds like a dream job, right? You know, you get to drive people around, drop them off, and obtain some of the grain. Maybe some of the homies will pass the aux cord to you while you're driving too, you know, to have a little bit more fun. Well, it might sound fun, but you're always gonna have those passengers who smell like an expired bag of Ruffles chips dolphin dive into your car. So today we're gonna look at one of those Ruffles chip passengers. Without further ado, let's crip walk right into this video. More. Hey guys, D Money Extreme Uber Rides here again, bringing you this new video of the absolute worst ride I have ever given since I started driving. Well, considering you look like a lumberjack warning the Uber driver, you really don't know why you're driving a car in the first place. What you really should be doing is taking an axe to the Oak Street. Man just looks like he sits at a coffee shop with his Chromebook for three hours a day. Probably binge watches Riverdale before he goes to bed every night. And this video is actually a perfect example of an increasingly common type of scam I've been experiencing called short stopping. Something that all drivers will eventually run into out in the wild. A short stop scam is pretty simple. The passenger enters a false destination into the app, which is a much shorter ride than the distance to their real destination, and then once you arrive at the false address, they either try to convince you to drive the rest of the way for free or they offer to pay you cash for the remainder of the trip This ain't it chief! How can you be that desperate to save money? Like literally I never really use uber right? But like I'm sure it's not like I'm getting charged like I'm riding a private limousine built exclusively for Donald China. Trump himself Like really though like why do you have to take this man's beautiful time out of his day? Just because you can't pay for the uber ride with your 7-eleven gas station paycheck Their goal is always the same to save a few bucks on their ride at the driver's expense in this example I'll show you how to deal with a passenger who pulls this scam on you and how to respond when the road gets more than a little bumpy. Now right from the get-go, I do not like this passenger. I mean, considering he looks like a Walmart Chris Pratt, I can already tell not a lot of people really like him in the first place. Seriously, man, those eyebrows are bushier than your grandma's backyard bush. Anyone who gets into my car without acknowledging my existence at all is obviously a total jerk, and the fact that he was yakking loudly on his cell phone made everything that much worse. Okay, I'm sorry, but like, why is he just casually changing into that? a prisoner jumpsuit from literally out of God knows where? Like, is he just an ex-convict who just escaped? I, I am so confused. Taking an Uber to run from the cops, what is, like, what is going on? He pretty much doesn't talk the entire ride to the destination, except to tell me that he's got to change into his gym clothes. Fuck no! Why do you have to change into what looks like something a fourth grader would wear on the last day of school in the car? Like, there's changing rooms or locker rooms in the gym, right? Like, why do you have to change into your goodwill clothes right in this man's Audi? Which isn't totally unheard of, but it is a little bit weird. Now, once we reach his false destination, he starts the short stop scam routine, and I'll just let the video speak for itself from here. Yeah, man. Uh, so... Really, nigga? Hey, so you see what happened was, Chief, is uh, I meant to go to South Africa, not the North Pole. So if you could just make a sharp turn to the right, that would be great. <laughs> Like seriously, Beanie Boy Roy is just trying to do his job and cross country Chuck Norris is just rooting his entire day. I actually need to go to the one across town, downtown. So, oh, um... You can call another Uber, but this is the address you put in, so this is where I have to let you out. The fuck? Dude, this man is really trying so hard just to get an extra few mile ride. Like, I'm pretty sure he could probably just walk to where he's trying to go, but no, he has to make sure this man suffers just so he can save the same amount of money as a Little Caesars hot and ready. This isn't the one I need to go to, so when I put in the address on Uber, this is the only one that popped up. Uh, yeah, like I said, you're gonna have to call another Uber. I might be your driver, but I have to let you out here. I can't keep driving. If I call another Uber though, it'll cost quite a bit more money, and I actually have five dollars I can give you right now. Okay, I've had enough. Okay, just because he's wearing a red shirt doesn't mean he's a human Mr. Crab. It's like, what is he gonna do with five dollars you just gave him? Anything, you'll probably just go get five dollars worth of gas so he can just drive himself home after he drops you off to where you're supposed to go. Like, what's this man gonna offer next? A ten dollar PlayStation okay. code? And since I'm already in the car, you can just drive me there for five bucks. I'm not gonna drive you there for five bucks. 
when I go online, I'm insured. If I'm offline, I'm not insured. But I don't really understand. So this isn't the place I need to go, and you took me to the wrong place. You're, you're a fucking idiot. You're the one who entered the wrong place. How does that make any sense? You're literally the one that said this was the only place and you still went through with it. Where is this man working out? A storage unit? Why is there a bunch of metal slats in the background? This is the address you put into the app, so this is where I have to drop you? Well, if this was the only address that came up on the app, then maybe it's something that you should be responsible for. Shut your mouth, you mediocre- I mean, the man already drove you somewhere. Can you at least be grateful for that? Just because you have a jagged beard doesn't mean you're tough. No, that's not how this works. You put your finger on the map, and we went there. Well, whatever happened, I just need to get to the other one, is all I'm saying. Okay, you can get out of my car and call another Uber? Yeah, and that's what Beanie Boy Roy told you a million times, is to call another Uber that you can drive. Like, seriously, what is the argument? All you have to do is just take your ex-convict looking ass out of the car and order another Uber. And they'll take you there. I don't understand why I would have to get out of your car to call another Uber when you're already an Uber. So I'm already right. in an Uber. I've completed- I know I'm whiter than a polar bear in Antarctica, but seriously, that has got to be the whitest thing I've ever seen in my life. Starting to get uber frustrated. Seriously, come on, Steve from Jackass. I thought you could do better than that. Actually, the more I look at them, they both look like cast members of Jackass. The ride that you requested? Yeah, but it took me to the wrong address. You put in the wrong address. It was Uber's fault if it was the only address that came up on the, on the map. To let you out here? Well, so you would drive me if I called another Uber? I might be your driver. At this point, I don't really want to drive you anywhere. Well, if I gave you t uh, five bucks- OH MY GOD! OH JEEZ! OH MY GOD! Oh, whopping five dollars, man. He just doesn't want to buy a Little Caesars hot and ready. Just give it up. How desperate are you to get to the gym? Like, I don't understand. Then you could drive me, and then you would make more money than- I don't want five dollars. I want you out of my car. I'm not gonna get out of your car when I'm already in an Uber. I'm not gonna call another Uber. Hi, I love- Man, homo version of Chuck Norris just doesn't know how to get this man up. To give him a break, he's just trying to survive and thrive, and here we have track star Chris Hemsworth ruining it all. Going through Uber. This is my car. I don't want you in my car anymore. I'm not getting out. Am I gonna have to take you out of my car? Starting to get a little heated now. I would like to see what happens because they both look like clearance section Connor McGregor's. I said I wouldn't be surprised if the video ended with someone getting run over at this point. No, you could just drive me. I don't want to drive you. I don't understand. You're making way bigger a deal out of this than it is. Just this is the ride you me. requested. I took you there. Now get out of my car. You're losing money right now, and I could give you money. I am money. losing money. Losing money because you're musty ass. Don't get out of the car. I don't understand why it's so difficult just to listen to the man that drove you that far in the first place. This is your last chance. I'm not getting out. It doesn't make... You're not pulling me out. <laughs> okay, the homie kind of got outplayed on that one. Saw that one coming from a mile away. There's a door open. I knew it wouldn't have closed with him going back into the car. The man just hardcore cucked himself. I don't know what he was thinking was going to happen. Sure, this man is stupid, but he's not a member of the Veggie Tales. Like, he's going to move and lock it. Look at Dini Boy's Roy's face. It's just some pure terror realizing how bad he actually just messed up. You know, the GTA 6 trailer is looking great. Can't believe how realistic the graphics are. Now we just have to wait for the PlayStation 7 to drop so we can get the game. What's up? Are you going to steal my car now? No. I just want you to drive me to the right place. Okay, I don't want to drive you anywhere. And now you've stolen my car. This man is an expert carjacker. He hides his identity so well. I don't even think the highest of the CIA ranking officers will even find a trace on what he looks like. He's on the FBI most wanted list as we speak. Even the Zodiac Killer is just in shock. His jaw is dropped as he sits in probably a trailer RV in the middle of the woods watching this. Can I get in? You can drive me to the right place? I don't want to get in. With you. Do you want to ride? I don't want to ride. I want my car back. You can download Uber. How do you use the shift knob? Oh, there's a button on the back. What in the actual high flying? I am so confused right now. So this man just literally stand Andreas style stole his car, and the dude that's watching his own car get finessed right in front of his face is helping him. Hey bro, I'm about to finesse your car, but how do I drive? I really don't know. Oh yeah, bro, there's a button on the back. I have that baby going from zero to seventy faster than I can dial nine one one. No, thank you. Get out of my car. What? Get out of my car. No. Yes. No, you can get in if you want. What are you doing? Oh, I just witnessed Grand Theft Auto right in front of my own eyes. I don't understand what the guy was trying to kill him with kindness. Seriously, what outcome did you expect by helping him? This has to be staged. Like, this cannot be real.
Okay. Why? At this point, I'm just so confused of what I'm watching. Like, seriously, this is the weirdest hijack I've ever seen in my life. Not like I've seen too many car hijacks in my life, but this man is just taking a Sunday afternoon stroll around the parking lot after he just stole a car. Dude, I'm not really going to steal your car. What? I'm not really going to steal your car. I'll give it back, though. I'll let you in if you drive me to the right place for five bucks. Yeah, man, I don't even think you're the... Yeah, man, I don't think you're the brightest crayon in the box because not even one minute ago you were giving up a practical instruction manual on how to start up your car like you were building a Lego set. Like, literally, this man was explaining step-by-step -step on how to start up his car like you're setting up a video flat-screen TV. I don't want your money. Five bucks or you can't get back in. Would you drive me to the right place? Well, whatever. It's uh, I can't change that now. <laughs> Five bucks. Okay, fine. All right. And you'll drive me to the right place? Sure, yeah. Hey! No! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Wow, that was it. I was expecting a whole Monday Night Raw WWE match to happen, but all you do is jellyfish catch him out of the car. I was expecting some chairs to be thrown and tables crashed, but I guess it was like a second grade school fight. Alright you guys, so obviously this ride went completely off the road taking a few unexpected right hand turns, but in the end I hope I showed you exactly how to handle a short stop situation. WHAT?! Um, you let the man steal your car, I don't think that's a good way to handle it. A good way of handling it is pulling out the strap and making his ass clap. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slap a like on this video before your dad slaps you. Hopefully you guys learned a valuable- actually, what lesson can you learn from this besides just give people what they want? Uh, make sure to subscribe if you hit my Vi, follow my Twitter link down below. Alright boys. I'm head out. Wake up every morning, got a Zanny and her lettuce for breakfast. Now I gotta flex this. I don't need no hope, but I love it when they jealous. I ain't desperate, uh, got a death wish. I wake up every morning, got a Zanny and her lettuce for breakfast. Now I gotta flex this. I don't need no hope, but I love it when they jealous. Why they talking over people?